Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? What up, what up? It's your girl, Adi, getting at you guys with another Adi's Art Struggles podcast episode. And guess what, everyone? We have a special guest that has joined us in the studio, and it is Jish Rath. Ooh, hi. <laughs> I can't say boo that guy here because they don't know me yet. Well, that's good. After this show, then I can say boo that guy. I know, I know. <laughs> They're going to love you, babe. Hello, everyone. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> if he's talking mess right now, don't 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 let him talk you into into that. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, don't <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> I hear you. I, I can't hear you. That's why I'm talking to him. Like if he's talking right now, don't listen to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be nice. Yes, you are nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so um who are you, babe? I'm just a <laughs> just a helper. <laughs> no. Who yeah, he's I'm actually in the studio with me right now and he's being extremely helpful. I'm the assistant. Yes, he is. It's he's cool I like it. Huh? I said it's cool though, I like it. Do you? Yeah. When I tell you to do stuff or when Another employee of mine tells you to do stuff. <laughs> I actually don't mind, but I know you do. Yeah, I mind a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a lot of distractions. And I just turn it into, uh, I don't want to say negativity. I just get bothered sometimes. But, um, yeah, he's he's currently helping me right now. He's printing off some postcards uh, for me. For this coming weekend, we have a show coming up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And my folks are doing the show. And these postcards that Rob is running off for me, they're actually going to be transported. Should we act like we're somebody, babe? (laughs) People of importance. But... Yeah, they're going to be handed out at the show. And, yeah, I hope a lot of people visit our website because it's like, show us. Show us that our working into the night, we are working by candlelight, people. (laughs) Being dramatical. (laughs) And please visit us at coinbuzzhopeyornaments.com. Just have a visit, you know, maybe save us to your favorites for the holiday season. Okay, enough with the sales pitch. <laughs> Here, I just released an episode about sales pitch. Did you listen to that one, babe? It was released today. Yes. You listened to it? You have I any comments or not shows. yet? I listen to all your shows and I Thank understand you. nothing. But I like listening. I'm starting to learn some stuff, at least the uh, the lingo. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, the swatches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the medium. So I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, let's do a pop quiz. Just no. two questions. No. Just two questions. <laughs> okay. Just two. And it's okay if if you miss the episode. I'm not gonna. Which like so you don't epi- listen to my stuff. <laughs> today's episode. I listen to it live. You listened to it like oh when you came in? No. When? I was in the spaces when we Oh were. yeah. When I was talking about them actually like scamming. Yes. Artists that are scamming. Yep. Did you have thoughts on that? I don't remember now. But oh, okay. I mean it happens everywhere. Yeah, it does. It doesn't surprise me that it's going on in the art community too. Yeah, we talk well, you were talking about the um the the fitness community on YouTube that was faking it, yep. faking it this whole time, like they weren't taking steroids and shit or whatever the hell they were taking, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's just it's crazy what people will do for money. Word. But I mean, 
seeing how you guys like how you guys have been working and all that i mean yes it takes time it takes effort it takes a lot of money too so people should like i was telling your mom too we were talking about that i was like people that are buying should see that people are like handmade stuff everything is almost handmade plus the material plus the time so take that into account when you're buying stuff too that's why i was telling her about your furniture stuff um i was like yeah if people just want mass produced stuff they can go to ikea but you can tell the difference you can mm-hmm. tell the difference in the wood. You can tell the difference in just like the designs. Like I was, I don't know if you heard me say, but the the pictures that you used to send me, I mean, yeah, they, it looked badass, but it, it doesn't. There's no way. I was like, what? When I saw it in person, I was like, that's crazy. It, there's so much detail. But yeah. You see, like pictures don't do it yeah, justice. No. Like when you see it in person, it's like holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying, too. But I don't remember if I was telling your mom or I said it on the show. Yeah. I think I said it on the show, but, yeah. I appreciate just the, the comments. Like, I, I you know, it, we do work hard, and at times, and I say at times, it is, it does get, like, um, it is a lot of work. And, you know, we've been doing it for so long, you know, it is, it is easy for us. But like I said in the past, like, like you could be doing the same thing over and over and over again, but like, you're still going to run into art struggles. Like you're like, um, what I was telling Rob today, like I was so nervous about doing the router cuts today on the side um, panels of the bookshelf. And, um, you know, there's, there's some parts in the wood, you know, and, in woodworking terminology, uh, there's a thing called knots, and it's those little like they look like circle burn marks of of the tree. Yeah. You know, yeah. So those are those are what we call knots. Is that what? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh! See, this is why I did not want to be on your show. It's fine. What is it? Is that like a cowlick for people? <laughs> a cowlick? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, like you know these things that we have in our hair. <laughs> Yes. Is that like a tree's cowlick? <laughs> <laughs> a tree's cowlick. I like that. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> so when when you use um like a certain type of blade, like if it's a very thin blade, what type of machine you're using? Like are you using a table saw, a miter saw, a circular saw? Are you using like a jigsaw? um and these saws they come with like these saws are meant for cutting like soft wood not hardwood you know so there's a there's a lot of a lot of difference there but um when i was making a router cut yesterday it was actually hard to pass the blade through mm. remember where it kind of slowed down a little bit remember we tried getting that piece in there no. see it didn't go because of that okay. so but today, um, you know, I made some router cuts and I was very nervous, like, because I, I pretty much went back to sleep. And then when I woke up, I was just dreading, like, oh, I really need to go out there. I really need to make this deadline. Um, I just don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if, you know, like, I was just, like, nervous about it. And it's because I have a new, a new router. I, I've had this router for a couple of years. I had to give me a new router because somebody stole my uh, stole my grandfather's one, and um, I just I don't know. Like I, I get used to using something for so long, and like I don't even have any worry. But when I get something new, it's like okay, I don't know how the hell I'm in it, you know. But I've been I have knowledge of routers, so what's my problem? You know, what's the big deal? And then when I did it today, I was just so happy that. I was able to make those passes with no problem. And I was just like, after I did that last one, I was like, hey, <laughs> pause <laughs> because of the dust. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was happy about it. I was just like, okay, like just kind of feeling like, okay, that was kind of dumb for you to stress about it. <coughs> 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 
<laughs> I think I imitated that too much. But, um, so right now, I'm actually doing a full finish on the side panel that I was just telling you guys about. But, yeah, and, and this is, this is like time consuming too. But, yeah, I just don't, you know, a lot of people, they, they don't know the time that, like, goes into it. And I think that's why now um, artists that are on social media, they're they're actually like like making reels and stuff of them working. But I think it's just more to sell their items, like to sell their products, not really to show the people, like you know, hey, this is this is why you you should uh, support small businesses. I, I think it's more like for show now. It's not really like, you know, oh, this is how it's made or, you know, whatever. It's more to just sell the item. Because a lot of the time, like, I've, I've done art shows where I was actually painting. Like, I was demonstrating. Me and my dad, we've done a lot of demonstrations. And a lot of people, they just like to watch, you know. And, and you know, to us, it's no, never mind if, if anyone purchase it, purchases it. It's just like, oh, yeah, like, this is this is how we work. And a lot of people, they appreciate it. They're just like, oh, wow, I like, never knew that these were actually all, like, hand-painted. Because now it's just, it's, it is mass-producing. Like, it's, you know, people, they just run off prints. They run off prints and sell it. And, yeah, it is like, the affordable way for people to support it, which is great. But um, I don't know. I just find that some artists, they kind of take it too far, especially when they're laying on the sales pitch he hella fucking thick. That's why I was like, man, I need to talk about this because it's it's just making all the rest of us artists look like we're like so fucking desperate when really we're just trying to just share what we do and that's it. And now Rob's an artist. <laughs> yeah, he actually did some he did some paint work today and I was so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't ask me what I did because I don't know the names of it. I did a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And he was good at it. That's that's what it is. He's good at it. I learned fa fairly quick. Yeah, well, this was like your first time doing it. So, you know, of course, it's not going to be, you know, perfect. Because <laughs> You're I've been... saying it wasn't perfect? <laughs> no, to me, it was perfect. But to you, you were just like hesitant like yeah, you were <laughs> and i was telling him don't stab him <laughs> he has a, he has too much stab, he's, stab he's too masculine he was you know what yes yeah. i almost broke a couple i was like Ugh. oh my god see gosh. that's what i'm scared of i'm scared of like ruining what you guys are doing because mm -hmm. i'm like if i break one or if i mess one up or whatever it's like oh now we have to Redo, yeah, we have to sand it, it and respray, yeah. But he did a good job. I liked it, and he got he finished with it, and I was like, all right, cool. He's such a big help because I I cannot do everything on my own like I did last year. We were talking about that on our way home. I was like, yeah, I've done everything. I always do everything. Like, I, don't, I really don't have anyone to, you know, help other than my dad. But my dad has, he too has his own, his own other works. I do too, but I just feel like sometimes, like, I'm not allowed to do it. Like, I'm not allowed to do my own, my own works. It's always putting other people's stuff before mine. And Rob was like, you better cut that out. And I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. I, I know what he meant. He's, he was right. No. I was just like, oh, I don't know. I can't do it right now. And he's like, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Yeah. I think because you said boundaries, like, okay, I'm going to dedicate a certain amount of time to my stuff and then I'll do yours or whatever it is. But boundaries are set to be tested. And when they get tested, you have to make them respect your boundaries. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm only going to dedicate this much time. And if I get my stuff done first, then 
I'll have more time to do, help you with yours. But see, when they test it and you're like, okay, never mind, I'll just do your stuff, then of course they're going to keep doing that. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm the type of person, like, I don't want to upset nobody. I, I know that's where that comes from because I'm just like, oh, you know, I could probably make time. I'm trying to, like, not think that it's manipulation, but I know what it is. <laughs> I just, I do feel bad, though. But then it's like, well, nobody feels bad for me when I want to do stuff. But, yeah, I guess, um, well, what I was trying to do earlier, because <clears throat> I was trying to make an episode, I did get sidetracked when Rob came in the door. <laughs> you did? <laughs> when you came in and I was in the middle of it? When was that? Remember when I was waking up, you came in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was just, I was just telling you guys like how nervous I was and stuff and what I should do but um yeah so I just went out there and I did um yeah I did the the routing on there and it went by really fast because usually I just struggle with it like I told you guys like I get iffy about the I get iffy about the um the the new router and the passes went by pretty smooth and then I was surprised at how fast I did it because of the time. Because when I was spray painting them, like prime, like uh, with the with the primer, the other night, man, I ran out of daylight. I ran out of daylight, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I couldn't see what the hell I was doing. But I did it, and then the next day I checked it, and I was just like, "Man, like these look like crap." So I had to sand, I had to sand it extra, which, because I sand with two, two different grit of sandpaper. And yeah, we, we actually had to go to hardware and get some sandpaper things, babe. <laughs> he, he purchased the sandpaper for me. And when we got home, we ate. And we got to work. That was yesterday. So today I was like, okay, they need to be routered. And then I need to put the base the base paint on there. Oh, so that's the last one? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're done for the day because I can't. <sighs> I'm not focused right now. And it's not you. I think I'm just tired. But I'm I'm relieved, though. Like, I'm relieved that I did the routing and it went smooth. And I did the spray paint. So I need to get back on the computer and I need to check off some stuff that I did that I was, like, dreading to do. And uh, whatever you do, don't break those yet because I'm going to, yeah, you might have to run off the other side. And then we'll cross those things out. <laughs> So this is done for tonight. <coughs> hmm? This is done for tonight. Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and turn it off. Um, top left, top left button. This one. Yes. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. And uh, there's a button on the tablet. I think it's on the top right. Just press that. Oh man, thank you, baby. See, even that. See, I stress about the littlest task, but it's still a task. I think I had that tablet twenty seventeen. Is that okay? What do I know? You're like, I had a laptop for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> twenty. Years. I still have it. It uh... still works faster than the new one. Should just change the fan and. Start using that one again. See, all that computer talk, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, he knows a lot of tech stuff. He fixed my parents' tablet. I did? Yeah, didn't you? Or not fix it, but like you were like doing some stuff to it. Yeah. Yeah, at, at first they used to ask me, and then... I pass the torch over to Rob, and then now they're like, Rob, Rob, <laughs> how do I do this? It? How do you do this? This keeps coming up. <laughs> Just swipe it up. 
and they're like, oh, thanks, rap. <laughs> I was like, wow, I don't get, I don't get none of that. The hell? The hell? Yeah, so, and I actually, I'm going to have video footage, so if you guys sign up for my newsletter, you guys will get the exclusives. So, yeah, I'm putting, like, little clips, like, on stories, but, yeah, not, like, the other stuff. So, check it out. And check out Just Rob on Twitter and Instagram. X.com forward slash Rob's Just Thinking. Same handle on the twits. And when I say twits, I'm talking about Twitter, Twitter X. So, check out his teachings there. And so you like being an artist so far? <laughs> <laughs> I am far from an artist. You know what? Let we're gonna end with this. Rob is an artist. He's an excellent fucking writer. Writing is an art, babe. So yeah. you are an artist. I'm a jack of all trades. Really good penmanship. No, I don't. <laughs> I write like a child. <laughs> but Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe. It's the tooth. It's the tooth? It's the tooth. My baby teeth? <laughs> You're gonna stop with that. <laughs> yeah, so we're done for the night. What time is it, baby? Uh, no clue. Um, 10.35. Are we done? Are we gonna go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I think we're going to crash know. out. Yeah, and then do it all again tomorrow. What do you plan on doing tomorrow? Just the other side of these postcards and... You're the... What else? The boss. The what? You're the boss. The boss. Trying to be, but my other employee won't let me. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what happens when you pass the torch. Mm. I'll put it out. <laughs> I should have Sometimes put it out. you do. Sometimes right. you're like, fuck this, I'm not doing what Hell you're yeah. Me. Hell yeah. I, I'm a quitter, man. I'm a quitter, but I also get back on the horse. Mm -hmm. Then I, I gallop and then I lose control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I give the horse too many oats, and that's what makes him crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but I always I always pick it right back up. Yeah, I guess, well, that's what my pop said. He was like, yeah, when you're an artist and when you can make money with your hands, he's like, you have, you, you have the ability to put something down and pick it back up when you're an artist. So I wouldn't call it quit. Because if you quit, you just don't ever pick it back up. You don't do that. So. You take breaks. Mm. You Are they quit. breaks? I was listening to a YouTuber that's an artist, and he said, like, he's like, oh, well, he's like, I had a hiatus, and then he stopped himself, and then he was like, well, he's like, to me, it was a hiatus. He's like, can you believe it? I didn't, I didn't paint for three days. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, we're so dramatical as artists. I kind of noticed that, like, when I listen to these other artists talk, they're just like, oh man, like have I missed painting one whole day? <laughs> like I haven't done art and oh man, I'm just losing my mind. And I'm like, right? But I, I leave it for like a long time. Like so when it, is that like the difference between your passion and a hobby? Mm, I think I don't so. Because a hobby, I mean, you just pick it back up whenever you're ready to or like a hobby you 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 do it because you're bored or like there's like nothing else nothing else to do it's kind of like us kicking in the bed playing cats and candy crush hmm. that's like that's like a hobby I, mean, I take it as a hobby like it's just something to like kill time art is like oh i, I gotta do it. it just it just feels good and and the artist that I was talking about, like he's he does um um spray paint, 
and then he's all in his room. He was he was spray painting inside his house. I thought that was crazy, but he was spray painting in his house. And then he was just like, he's like, oh man, he's like, darn that paint smell good. And but but he was saying it in a way like, oh man, I miss painting. I haven't painted for three days. And then at the end of that video that he was recording, he was just like, he's like, oh man, I I just gotta stop, man. Like the gas is getting to me. <laughs> Yeah, that happened to me yesterday when I was out there spraying. You were just around it too much? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it smells good, and then I pass out. <laughs> yeah, he was out there uh, tagging my shed. <laughs> yeah, I actually did get some on the shed. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just, we just miss it. Like, we just miss just, like, just tuning everything out and, like, just doing it. So I guess the the shit talking that I was doing on on the lady scammer when she was like, like when the dude was asking her a question, she was just like, huh, what? Like, you know, like, like you enter it. I'm over here like in the zone. Like I'm not even pin. And then I'm just like, you fucking bitch. Like, like people are throwing you their money and you're over here ignoring them being like, oh, I can't, I can't enter anything. Mm -hmm. But I guess I kind of get it. That's, that's my point. Like, like, okay. Like, I'll shut the hell up on that part because when I'm in the zone, like, when I'm, like, doing my thing, like, I have an idea or, you know, whatever, it's just like, yeah, don't talk to me. So, like, when my employee comes in, it's just like, oh, my God. Knock on the door, leave a post-it, text me. You know, like, I just, I can't, I can't be bothered. Like, it's just like, oh, my God, leave me alone. But when it's babe, <laughs> <laughs> yep. I let him shove me up against the wall. <laughs> oh, mm, am I giving it all away, babe? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we're tired. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, when I say he's creative, he's <laughs> creative. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when he comes into the studio, yeah, like he just gets ideas, babe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the zoomies when he comes in here. It's and the man, my hair be flying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dropping paintbrushes and shit. Getting Speaking paint of, on my carpet. I found a brush on the bed. Did you? Like, <laughs> See, what did I tell you? This is typical of an artist. Mm -hmm. Supplies on the bed. And I leave my tools all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, he gets crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was she doing with this? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty thick brush. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! Why I didn't say anything? You didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll oh. show you, babe. I'll show you, babe. <laughs> I saw what you did with it. What? What did I do with it? You don't remember? No. Damn. A paint, a paintbrush. <laughs> what did I do with it? Oh my god! It's a cliffhanger. We'll tell them next time. <laughs> Tune in next time to find out what Audi was doing with the paintbrush in bed. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to know. So I think I am gonna have to wait till the next episode. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one off and then start another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, when you're an artist, you're smart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do it like that. <laughs> well, you did call me an artist too, so I'm still gonna find a way to make you wait. Oh hell no! Shit, I get it out of you. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold back. Shit, I'm a master of my craft. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and if it's untrue, I'll just redo what you think I did, and more. <laughs> mhm. Mm I'm gonna be like, okay, give it to me, and then I'll show you what I can do with it. Then you can run and tell that on the next Audi's Art Struggles podcast. <laughs> mm hmm I would be like, yeah, I did that. 
I did that. <laughs> I guarantee you don't remember what you did with him. <laughs> See? And it's also an artist, an artist uh, tactic or mastery, I should say, is to not tell secrets. <laughs> mm, that is true. <laughs> mm hmm. So throw it at me and let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how my creativity runs with that thing on you. Ew. <laughs> Other artists that are listening to this right now. I know. Like, like, what the heck is like, what? <laughs> this isn't art. <laughs> Actually, it is. A I, it is. I mean, if you're one of those artists that do, that do like like sculptures and stuff, and you're actually sculpting a naked man for one, or if you're a paint an oil painter and you're sketching and painting a naked man, let me tell you, you're gonna need more pink. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay. taking the skin off or what? No, no it's <laughs> I'm not gonna be nasty. <laughs> the only thing I can but... do is paint two lips. <laughs> you better She's cutting off my mic. Good night, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut his mic. <laughs> I'm gonna pull his mic. <laughs> oh my gosh. And yeah, man, I'm getting hot. <laughs> I think I gotta go. <laughs> but yeah, I think we're done for the night. But I hope you will join me on other more art struggles episode, babe. I will check my schedule. <laughs> and I will tell you tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So overall, like like how's how's your experience doing like what you did today? I enjoy it. The only thing is like I said, I don't wanna mess things up and and um have you guys have to start over but no everything that i did today was cool i enjoyed it it's muscle memory i remember from last time i was like oh yeah i had to okay. use a little bit of common sense too i was like yeah i remember just remember how i told you i was like i don't know if this is how she wanted it but... well let me ask you did did you feel did you feel stress or did you feel like like some kind of like empowerment, like almost, almost like <laughs> I know I can't really compare art to Candy Crush, but it's almost <laughs> like you know, like you know how like Candy Crush it just takes you, like it just takes you, and then you have like like you're like you're exercising your mind like a puzzle, your focus, yeah. and you just like you're really like chilled out. You like you'd rather put your energy into something that's fun did do you or did you feel that when you were painting or is it just like i enjoyed all, like all the steps that we did since yesterday that i did or whatever in the morning i did feel like there was a little bit of pressure cuz i didn't know what needed to be done so I was kind of waiting for somebody to tell me, like, okay, once you're done with that, do this. And, and so there was a little bit of, of like, okay, what, what now? What am I supposed to be doing now? But if I had, like, a checklist to do or maybe next time, I'll, now I know the steps. So next time I'll be like, all right, after this, I'll do that and stuff like that. Otherwise, I, I just felt like I'm just here. Somebody so me in the right direction. So you felt pressured and a little stress because you didn't know what needed to be done. In the morning, yeah. Okay, but when you were working with the paint, oh, that was... did did you feel like you were an artist? Like, did no. you feel freedom? <laughs> did you? I felt um, <clears throat> I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know how to describe what I felt. I just felt like okay, I have a task to do, and I'm gonna do it. So it um, felt like a job, then you're doing something pleasurable. Because let me tell you, my 
employee will make you feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, like when I went to double check your work, did you did you feel like I was going to be like, oh, you did that wrong? Or like... I think since it's like the second time that I've ever... No, this was actually the first time I've ever done like a whole sanding, spraying... What is it called? Dabbering. 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 Tagging and all that stuff. It's the first time that I've done the whole thing. So I am still learning. I am still kind of nervous about it. So I'm like, I just don't want to fuck up. Well, mm. I don't know if you can cuss on here, but... Oh, yeah, yeah I do. It. Yeah, it's, it's your show. Yes, yes you parental. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> so there, there was that plus like the deadlines already. So I was just I did not want to mess anything up. But if I if mm. if it was something like we don't have a deadline, this is just something that you're gonna do because every day you have to be doing this. Then I would be like, all right, cool, I got it, I'll do it. Yeah, I think I kind of just threw it on you because I had no I had no idea that you were gonna really be doing it uh -huh. because um i i like she's particular and i'm she's more particular well no i'm more particular about that when it comes to those like i feel like they have to be a certain way like they have mm -hmm. to be like really perfect and i think for for both of us to pretty much shove you into that <laughs> yeah sorry and yeah I, I could see why you didn't feel like artsy or creative or like oh you were having fun it is fun when you're when you're when you watch it go from like what i don't even see the the terminology and all that stuff i don't know it yet but when you go from like a blank piece of wood to now what i see now and i'm like oh shit like mm. that's cool it is, it's cool to see it now, the finished product. I feel that, I feel that way when you write something. Because, mm -hmm. like, I set up the board for you, right? Mm -hmm. And when I refresh it, there's, like, very intelligent, like, Perfect. passages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm just, like, I would never think to talk about that. Or I never would think to word it that way. And it does blow my mind because it's like you you really know how to trigger something in me to be like, oh, yeah, we got to talk about this. Or I'm curious as to know what he's going to say about it. See, and that's that's your craft that that's your writing. Like oh. when, you know, like you are an author, you are an artist, like you are a motivational speaker, you are a healer, like you're you're all of those things. But yeah, you, you really don't look at yourself. Oh, and let me tell you something. It took me years for me to call myself an artist. Mm -hmm. Because for me, I, I never, like if you ever looked at my other past websites and stuff like that, I have never put artists. I was, I felt like, oh yeah, I'm a podcaster. I'm a host. I'm a DJ. See, everything was like way up there. Growing up as an artist, since I was a child, like, I didn't want to be that. And I think I mentioned this before, but, like, at the end of the school year, you know, in elementary school, they would give out these certificates, like, you know, like, for every kid that had that was, like, good at something. Mm -hmm. I was always pissed off that I always got, Audrey Alcuenva is the best artist. And I hated it. Because everybody's was like, like, oh, so and so is is the best at basketball, or they're they're the best at board games, they're the best at you know. And what I don't know why I always wanted the best, um, um, the best drawer, like. And I think then I didn't know what an artist really was. Like, I didn't know artist was like everything. But I wanted to be a child that was like good at like just one thing. Mm. I don't know why. Interesting. So I just honestly probably like, probably about like a year ago, I was like, Audi, you're an artist. 
just fucking face it, you're an artist. And honestly, when you and I were together, and then when I discovered that that program, that's where I think I accepted that I was an artist. So you were actually on that journey with me of accepting that that's what I was. Because my mom, when she was making their business cards, she always put Anderson, Berna, and Audriel. And I didn't like that. I'm just like, I'm not you guys like i'm not an artist you know mm -hmm. and i i didn't like that so my mom she was like, okay well I'll just take it off and i'm just like Whew, yeah like yeah take <laughs> it off yeah it's it's yeah. you know growing up as something for so long you're just kind of like man i'd, I'd rather be somebody else like I, I don't like i don't see myself as that and i guess painting painting lines or painting something is really like nothing like it, it is nothing like oh Adi, go and paint this room okay like, you know, like, it's not, you know, like, it just, yeah. it's, it's easy. I think writing for you is easy, but you're just, you just refuse to call yourself an author. You know, and if you're going to say, oh, well, I have unpublished work. Well, fucking write a blog and post it. There, <laughs> you're a published artist. <laughs> yeah. I publish on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. It, that, that is true. On Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I guess I'm saying all that to say, like, like, yo, just own it, just own it. I've been fighting it for it for uh, fighting against it for so long, and I'm 39 years old, and I've been denying this shit since I was like seven years old. Like, I didn't want to be an artist because then I wanted to be a radio DJ and look at what we're doing now. It's some form of it, so I'm actually, I'm actually fortunate enough to to like actually do what I wanted to do since I was a kid. I wanted to be a firefighter. And did I? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be a firefighter because in first grade, we had the fire department come in and teach us about fire drills yeah. and things like that. And then of course they picked a child from the, from the class mm -hmm. to try on their gear. And I actually got chose. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was standing on a platform and then they put that heavy ass fucking thing on me and then I got to wear the fire hat and I was like, I want to do this. No. But see, growing up, I was like, oh, I want to be a radio DJ. And then I actually did that. Like, oh, I want to like report news. But yeah, like I wanted to be Murphy Brown, even though she's a bitch now, but. <laughs> I don't know who that is. But... Murphy Brown, the TV show. No. Every every character else was cool, but Murphy Brown, she was, she was of course like you know like uh, she was a news anchor, mm -hmm. and she she was just a bitch on the show. But everybody else was cool. Like she's just always like grumpy and like fed up and you know like whatever. And then uh, Doctor Fraser Crane from Fraser, and Martin from the Martin Payne mm -hmm. show. See, like they were all radio DJs, and I was like, I want to do that, and look at what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, all those other things, yeah, like being in construction, it was like, oh yeah, like I'm a painter, I'm a drywaller, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm in the masonry, like you know, like I See, was. But all those, all those skills are a form of art. So when you say that you're an artist, you're you're an artist in a lot of things. Woodworking is a skill, and it's a it's art. I mean, shit. <laughs> Again, you're taking a, a board, a blank board, and you're creating that. And I know I just pulled the mic away from my mouth, but to mm -hmm. point at what I'm looking at. And it's like, I would never have thought to do that. I would never, like, to me, it's just a bookshelf is, there's nothing on it. Like, eh, just, eh, yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, yeah, that's like how people The see shit it. that you buy at Ikea, you know, you just snap it together, throw some some screws into it and that's it but like seeing it how you're doing it and i'm like damn that's crazy like the designs and the paint and just everything but it is a a form of art and you should be proud of yourself i'm proud of you thank you you still haven't seen my thing on twitter huh no because you haven't commented on it it's fine no 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 don't look now
Why? Don't look now. <laughs> Again, you guys go to x.com forward slash Rob's just thinking. But don't follow check me. Out his I feel like stuff. I know you guys already, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be cut out. Because <laughs> you do edit this one, so you, you'll cut this out. Don't follow maybe me. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Check out my stuff, but don't follow me. Follow him. <laughs> follow him, but don't report him. Oh, yeah. Don't do not do that. Man, people just trying to report us artists. Trying to report people that have real talent and real fucking purpose in the world. <laughs> and, yo, if you guys are enjoying this episode, uh, be sure to follow us on the Why Run Podcast. We're on Spotify, we're on YouTube Podcasts, iTunes, Amazon Music, Audible. Check us out if you guys want more of us. But I do I do want I do want you on more Adi's art struggles because maybe you were struggling, baby. <laughs> I was definitely And we wanna struggling. hear about it. <laughs> We want to hear how you I was struggle, at, struggling. I was looking at some of the the animals that I did today, and I was like, damn, I really got carried away. You did not. Food. Oh, my gosh. Really, babe? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to read it. Can you read it? Yeah, go ahead. Yo, I want you guys to go to x.com for slash Rob's Just Thinking, and I want you guys to like this post. <laughs> he writes, My wife looks sexy as fuck woodworking. She's been told it makes her less feminine. Shaking my head. Shit insecure men say. Oh, shit insecure men say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, babe. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. It's true. Mm, thanks. I love it. It's I love all it. facts. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I had to share that one for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, check us out on the Y Run. Check him out on the Twits. And we do spaces like yeah, they're just like mini like mini episodes. When are you gonna do one, babe? Like I'm waiting for you to do one. Now you got some time, you I know. Got to, no time. No, you got time. You'll have time tomorrow. Do I? Well, we got a show tomorrow. Yeah, we're trying to go through the notes and fine tune some things because I feel. See, <laughs> it's almost the same thing. You're doing these things and you're like, that? You're like tripping off of that? Like you're complimenting me on on these things. Like you look at it like it's nothing. For me, with the writing and stuff, I just, oh. out, I just threw some titles together and I was like, what am I going to say about these things? What do they mean? So then I, when I was writing some notes, I was like, okay, I was kind of going... Like creating it as I was going, it's not something that I really thought about. Yeah. And to you, you read it and you're like, oh, he really thought about this. <laughs> so <laughs> real thought into this. I'm like, no. Not I really. Didn't. <laughs> no. I just kind of. Well, I think all of that goes away, like as we're talking, because sometimes, like when I get like like a canvas or you know something, and I it a blank canvas is intimidating it is because it's just like well shit i don't i don't know what to do like yeah. i didn't think this through um and it's just like first of all it's like choosing a color like okay once i put on a canvas and maybe something will come and if it doesn't then it's just kind of like okay well I'll just make some marks i think with you it's the same thing like you're looking at a blank page and you're just like I don't know what to write. Yeah. So I think it's kind of like, that's why I try to give you prompts. Like, okay, why don't you try writing the day, month, you know, time, and like write down five words of what you're feeling right now or five things that you're thankful for for today. And I see it like get you 
gets the juices going. That reminds me, I have to go write in my journal. Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't done that today, but, you know. See, that's, that's art. See, you do artistic things without even knowing it, baby. That's why I, I you know, I, I want you to keep doing it. Yeah, I'll keep doing it. Mm -hmm. That's like another thing too. I'm just like, like tomorrow if we meet with the transporter, <laughs> we meet with the transporter and once those are off, like, I think I'm just probably going to crash. Like I'm probably just going to. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. Mm. But, but like I said, like I want to keep going, like, yeah. you know, with the ornaments and stuff, like, you know, casually without any deadlines, but. My mother was telling me that, you know, oh, there's this show and this show. And then I'm like, I don't have money for that. So when she starts to take over, then I'm just like, okay, so it's really not mine, you know. But I just want to, you know, like, um, you know, like, like paint two a day or something like that. Yeah. But I got these yet. And that's like another thing. Once these get transported to the place fuck i'm just gonna want to like crash out but see another thing too is that i know people are going to be searching for me and when things come up it's like okay what is she working on now and it's like i don't even know that <laughs> no. i have no idea you can't stop anymore yeah i can't stop but honestly i'm like you know i have some wood there and then i got like two wood over there that i could router remember i was telling you mm -hmm. um I'm actually thinking, I, I don't know, um, I have other wood too, but I'm thinking about like wanting to do like a donation, like I want to make something to donate. Oh. What? I was going to say, um, weren't you going to make something for that lady? Yeah, that painting. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's about that size. Cool. That size, yeah. But yeah, she she helped me and my parents, and she just lost her husband. So I just wanted to make something for her to say thanks and sorry for your loss. So see, but, there you go. That's your next project, right there. Yes, I will do that. I'm just man. Like I said, after after everything's at the transporter, then it's like. Yo, I'm done. I'm done until, like, <laughs> yeah, I get this one. You're going to take a two-hour hiatus? Yeah, and then I'm back to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I mean, I enjoy it, you know? Like, I, I, I feel like now it's my purpose, you know? And I never really, like, felt that. Like, it was there, but it's, like, getting over that over that hill and then now it's like okay everything makes sense and everything's going good and i like it <laughs> yeah. you know? so but yeah you need to start really publishing some works that's what i like to see <laughs> ah don't even don't even yeah why don't you guys throw some encouraging words to rob like yo we want to we want to pick your brain Write what? something. <laughs> yes, write something. Maybe. No, people like to read. Do they, though? Yeah. Smart people. <laughs> write for the smart people. Write for the people that actually want to learn something. Give them that. That's your gift. Thanks, baby. Thank you, baby, for supporting me and all my <laughs> my art struggles. Oh, you're welcome, baby. And we both hope that you guys enjoyed this Adi Adi's art struggles featuring just Rob and just Rob's art struggles today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Nice to meet you. And I'm done. Yo, with it, with it, with it. <laughs> Oh hell no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, babe, for having me. 
Yes, all the time, babe, all the time. And thank you guys so much for pressing play. And don't forget to add, rate, comment, subscribe, follow, and share. And we will for sure get back at you guys tomorrow. At least I will. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys know how the full finish is going. Got the base coat on there. And yeah, I got to do the blue and then the maroon color full finish. And then um, I got one more shelf to do. You're actually seeing it from start to finish with that one left that I got. So I have to do the the clout designs and the luna, the border. And then I'll be painting the Hopi Eagle design. So if you guys want to check those out on my IG stories, then you will want to go to Instagram.com forward slash Audrey Alcoinva. It'll be on my stories and I'll save it as a highlight. That way you guys can you know, when it when the 24 hours goes out, you guys can still check it out. So I'll drop links for those. And um, yeah, thank you guys again for pressing play. And I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. <sighs>